in this problem the given function is f is equals to delta 2x cube y square z bar four. Now let us consider the function as phi which is 2x cube y square z bar four which is nothing but scalar function. Now we have to find curl f. Curl f is nothing but curl of delta phi. Now we also know that curl delta phi is nothing but del cross del phi which will be always equals to zero for any scalar function phi. Therefore, curl of f is zero which is nothing but option b. Which one of the following expressions is correct for TDS for a simple compressible substance and notations are as usual meaning and here the options are dh minus vdp, dh plus vdp, dh minus pdv and dh plus pdv. So here first this is for a simple compressible substance for that by using the first law of thermodynamics you can write it as dq is equal du plus dw where dq can be written as tds and here du plus dw can be written as pdv and du internally can be written as again a d of h minus pv plus pdv where enthalpy is a sum of internal energy and the product of pressure and volume. So we can write uh, internal energy as H minus PV and from this we get here DH minus PDV minus VDP plus PDV and PDV will get cancelled and here DH minus VDP. So here TDS can be written as DH minus VDP and the right answer is DH minus VDP and the options correct option is A, A is the right answer. Under the normal conditions, the state of water vapor in the atmospheric air is superheated vapor state, saturated vapor state, saturated liquid state, mixture of water and vapor of dryness fraction between 0 and 1. This is a very simple question. The just state of wa water vapor in the atmospheric air. Generally, atmospheric air consists both gas and water vapor. It is a mixture of air and water vapor and but general the boiling point of water is 100 degrees centigrade at atmospheric pressure that is at 1 bar but here in the atmospheric air water vapor has some pa partial pressure it is less than the atmospheric air so the boiling point of water also less than the 100 degrees centigrade so that's why the water vapor existed in the superheated state in the atmospheric air so here the right answer is A A is the right answer At steam flows through a throttle valve and remains wet at exit then its temperature and quality increase, its temperature decreases but quality increases, its temperature increases but quality decreases, its temperature and quality decrease. Here it is wet stream flows through a throat wall that means it is going under constant enthalpy process. Consider pH diagram. Now here consider a constant enthalpy process so that from 1 to 2 let us say. So here it is the wet stream flows through a throttle wall and remains wet at exit. Here the representation of the throttling process in this case let us say this is the starting position and this is the ending position at this position obviously there is an increase in quality but there is a decrease in temperature. So here quality increases but temperature decreases. So the correct option is B. B is the right answer bearing the radius of the friction circle increases with the increasing options are load radius of journal speed of journal viscosity of lubricant here the friction circle is directly proportional to the radius of journal so that's why it increases with the increasing of radius of journal so here the right option is b b is the right answer the divergence of vorticity is always constant zero constant and always positive constant and always negative but here the right answer is the word divergence of vorticity is always equal to 0. 0 is the right answer. For a non-Newtonian fluid, viscosity is a property of the fluid, is not a property of the fluid, depending on the flow behavior, apparent viscosity. These are the four options and uh, the given options are choose the correct answer by using the codes given below and here 1 only, 1 and 4, 2 and 3, 2, 3 and 4. Actually for non-Newtonian fluid, viscosity is not a property of the flu um, fluid because it depends on the other parameters like behavior of the flow and other things and uh, so that's why it is not a property of the fluid and it is a called apparent viscosity. So in the options, the um, 
second one is correct it is not a property of the fluid and third one is depending on the flow behavior so it is also correct and it is also called apparent viscosity so that the correct option is d d is the right answer the art of effectiveness of parallel counter and cross flow heat exchanger by using the codes given below here epsilon represents uh, effectiveness and uh, suffix represents parallel uh, parallel represents parallel heat exchanger counter represents counter flow heat exchanger and cross represents cross flow heat exchanger but the effectiveness of a cross flow counter flow heat exchanger is more than any other heat exchanger and the, the next comes to the counter flow heat exchanger the effectiveness for cross flow heat exchanger is more than parallel parallel flow heat exchanger so here the right answer is a and a is the right answer in case of flow over a flat plate in forced convection the following correlation is true here the options are a n natural number is equal to 0.664 reynolds number power 0.5 randall number power 0.33 and the option b is natural number is equal to 0.664 re power of 0.5 and gr power of 0.3 that is gr represents dash of number and again for uh, the option c 0.664 pe p plate number power 0.5 grash of number 0.5 and d the option d n is equal to 0.664 reynolds number power of 0.5 and grash number grash of number power 0.5 here the natural number is a function of Reynolds number in case of forced convection and it is not a function of Grashof number because Grashof number is based on the buoyancy forces. So in case of forced convection it, it doesn't depend on the buoyancy forces. So that here easily we can eliminate other th three options like here B consists of term Grashof number and C consists of term Grashof number and D consists of term Grashof number. So obviously these are the they are not represent the natural number so the correct option is a here natural number is a function of reynolds number and prandtl number through distortion energy theory of failure failure may occur when the options are sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2 is equal to sigma y square and the option b is sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square plus sigma 1 sigma 2 is equal to sigma y square and option c is sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square plus 2 minus sigma 1 sigma 2 is equal to sigma y square and the uh, option d is sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus 2 minus sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma y square here sigma 1 and sigma 2 represents the maximum and minimum principal stresses sigma y represents the elastic limit in simple tension and mu represents poisson's ratio here from the options the correct answer is a a is the correct answer for discharge energy theory in case of discharge energy theory the Limit for sigma y is sigma y is equal to sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2. So here the cut answer is A. Transmitted by solid shock is by 5172 Nm meter and modulus of density of the shock material is 80 gigapascal. Determine the diameter of the shock having three critical lengths which is for 1 degree of angle of twist in mm. Here the options are 93, 107, 103, 130 and 123. So here from the torque equation just consider the torque T by J is equal to C theta by L. Here the torque is equal to 5172 Newton meter where A is equal to 5 by 32 to the power of 4 because the diameter of the shock is given by you will have to find out you will have to find out the diameter of the shock and length of the shock is given by 3 meter and C is equal to 80 gigapascal that is 18 kilogram into megapascal and theta is equal to 1 degree which is equal to 5 by 180 newtons. So on substitution of all these values you can get here D D is equal to 103 mm 103 mm so the correct option is D D is the right answer. The decrement of vibrating system is 0.8 then the amplitude factor amplitude reduction factor is the options are 4, 1.32, 0.56, 0 0.13. Here, the logarithmic decrement is given by 0.28, and we can write it as ln of x1 by x2, where x1 by x2 is the amplitude reduction factor. So, that from this equation, we get x1 by x2 is equal to e power of 0.28, which gives a value of 1.32. So, here 1.32 is the right answer, and in the option, the correct option is b. b is the right answer.